So today I want to show you the NCAA mod. It's it's just a roster that you can import into a franchise and then obviously you can start up a franchise with an NCAA roster. So there's a couple hiccups. There's a couple things that you guys actually have to do. Like this isn't just a download the roster, hop into a franchise. You will have to do some work and I'll show you what you have to do. But at least you guys can kind of get started on it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for me to redo the video that I did last year. Finally, there's a roster out. I will talk about another roster that is supposed to be coming out in the future. But for right now, I want to show you this roster just in case you guys want to experiment with it and get into, you know, kind of like a college franchise. So there's that. I hope you do enjoy the video. Of course, if you do hit that thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, get in the comment section. Just let me know what you guys think. That's really all about. That's what, Yeah, that's really it. I just want to know what you guys think about the roster. If you guys have done this before, if you guys are looking forward to doing this just let me know down below so this is the roster it's called 30 team college if you just search college it'll pop up this was the first person to put it out green wave fan and as you can see it's a 30 team college roster with aac schools sec some la schools and then there's a couple other schools kind of in there right so in the description it says college roster this is the roster you're going to download so you download it and then you hop into a franchise so I wanted to give this guy a shout out for making the roster. These two guys, it's literally this roster. They just copied it and re-uploaded it. So this is the, the main roster here. And uh, we're going to use this one just for today's video. And then now let me talk to you about another roster that I know is coming out in the future. So that roster I want to talk about because I've seen it on Twitter. They've been hinting at it. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know if it's, you know, next week, next month. I don't know. I just don't know. But the people who make writing rosters, that whole group, there, there's a group of them that make obviously a really good roster, right? And so they've been working on creating all the stadiums for every team that's going to be part of the roster, but they're going to be making a college roster. So it's going to have 30 teams. And on top of that, like I said, they've also gone out and created every single stadium for every team that's going to be in that roster. I, like I said, I don't know when it's coming out. But I wanted to make this video so that when that roster does come out, you guys can, you know, download that roster and you know what you have to do to play like a college version on MLB The Show 21. So, like I said, I know that roster is coming out sometime in the future. They've been talking about it on Twitter. I've seen some of the guys tweet out the stadiums they've created and kind of hinting at what teams are going to be in it. So, like I said, I don't know when it's coming out. I wish I did. It'd be really cool. But I can't wait for that roster to come out because I think it's a really cool concept to be able to play you know, NCAA, which we haven't had since like the MVP 05 days, um, finally in a, a baseball game nowadays. So let's get into it. Let me show you this roster that I just showed you, this one right here. And let me show you what you have to do to use it in a franchise. All right. So what you're going to have to do is you start a new franchise, right? You're going to load saved roster and you're going to go into the 30 team college, AEA, whatever it said, right? And you're going to see immediately that, oh, well, why are there the MLB teams? The roster only gives you the roster. That is it. It doesn't give you the team logo. It doesn't give you the team information. It only gives you the players in the rosters. So what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to do some work. You're going to have to go onto Google, figure out who plays for what team. So with this, I'm going to view roster and you can see there are some MLB players here. And that's a big hiccup with this roster. There are MLB players. That is that is probably the one big issue that I wish they would have just gone out and, you know, created like 25 overall players or imported like a one overall player to get rid of all these MLB players and minor leaguers because it kind of takes away from the whole point of it being an NCAA roster. The thing that they did do, though, was that they made every single MLB player an NCAA player. So Ryan Nicholson, Bo Keithley, Joey Bellini, you know, they all play for the University of Cincinnati. So this is the Cincinnati team. The... Red Sox is Mississippi State. So once you go to the MLB side of things, you can see that all these players do play for Mississippi State. So another thing that you will have to do is you're gonna have to create the custom team. Like you're gonna actually have to go here. Okay, Orioles is Cincinnati. So I'm gonna have to create, you know, the Cincinnati colors. I'm gonna have to change this to Cincinnati, team name the Bearcats, abbreviation UC for University of Cincinnati. I'm going to have to go to the vault. I'm going to have to look for a Cincinnati logo. I'm going to go into the logo editor, right? Since I've already done this off camera, I'm going to scroll down. We're going to go all the way down to Cincinnati Bearcats. And now we have the Cincinnati Bearcats, Cincinnati Bearcats logo. I'm going to have to import it here. Boom. So now that's my Cincinnati logo. 
And then, you know, I'm gonna have to go onto Google. I'm gonna have to see what the Cincinnati lo or unis look like. I'm gonna have to go and create the uniforms. So there is a lot of behind the scenes work that you have to do. If I want to, I can go to the stadium vault. I can look up what the Cincinnati stadium is, import it here as well. And then when I'm done with it, I'm gonna hit finish. I'm gonna click yes or no, whatever you want. And then obviously right here, it's gonna say the team name will be switched to Cincinnati Bearcats. I'll have the logo there. The uniforms will be changed. And I have to do that for every single team. I have to change it for whatever Boston was Mississippi State. The Yankees is Pittsburgh. The Rays are Eastern Carolina University. So you're gonna have to go through each one and figure out all that stuff. You're gonna have to do a lot of work here. So I've already created everybody. I've already created everything off camera. Let's hop into it. All right, so I didn't go into the whole thing of like creating the unis, but you know, you guys we can go into Google, look up what, you know, Jack Leiter, obviously Jack Leiter is part of Vanderbilt. Create the Vandy uniforms. Bo is Cincinnati, so you're gonna have to create the Cincinnati unis. So let me break it down, MLB roster each, and this is the issue with it, right? They're gonna have some MLB players, so that that's a problem. And I feel like this roster could have been a lot better if they would have imported, you know, a one overall player to get rid of every single one of those MLB players. So I know with, I would assume with riding rosters, they're going to make sure that that isn't an issue. But I did mention there were some hiccups with this roster that you have to go out and figure out who's an MLB player and who's a college player. So. Let me break down what every single team is. The Orioles, Cincinnati, Mississippi State. Ooh, Cincinnati's logo you can barely see. Cincinnati is the first one. Second team is going to be Mississippi State. Next, you're going to have Pittsburgh. The following team is Eastern Carolina University or East Carolina University. You've got Wichita State, New Orleans, University of New Orleans, which they actually don't have that logo in the vault. You've got Louisiana Tech. You had Southeastern Louisiana, I believe it is. I believe it's Southeastern Louisiana. They're the Lions or the Tigers. They're one of the two. Of course, that logo doesn't exist either. But I'm going to remember to put one of their uni uniforms in there. Their unis are kind of cool. I actually kind of like them. I'll put the logo somewhere on screen too so you guys can see what the team is. Next up was the Raysian Cajuns. Next up was LSU after that. Tulane, which I saw one of Tulane's unis. They had like baby blue with the green and the dark blue. Looked so nice. Um, the Tigers of Memphis this time. UCF. USF. University of Houston. This one was the Charlotte 49ers. I believe the 49ers is what they're called. Florida. South Carolina Gamecocks. Notre Dame. University of no 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 that's not right Ole Miss this is Ole Miss TCU Arkansas Tennessee Vanderbilt uh, Louisville Arizona Texas Tech Stanford Texas and the final one is Oregon so that was Baltimore all the way down the list of MLB teams so there is that. So you probably noticed that there are MLB players on the roster. And that, that is a big issue with this roster. I did mention there were some hiccups with it. And this is the main one. Like, this is the biggest issue. And so, like, the only way that I could think of how you could combat this before you actually go into franchise and start the franchise, creating the uniforms, all that stuff, is when you initially download the roster. So you, you've downloaded it. You've already saved it. You'd go up to the corner. You'd go to load saved rosters. You'd go to here. And then you would load it up. You would go to roster control, which I'm actually covering. So you go to roster control. And what you'll do is you go to roster control. And since you have everything pulled out here, where every single one of the players that are on the MLB roster are the college players. Now, these are the ones that are college players on the college roster. So what you could do is, you know, import a position player for every single one of those MLB players and make it a Joe random. What you would have to do though, is you'd have to create a Joe random. So you'd have to create a player that's a zero overall. And then now you'd have to take the time to make a Joe random and then take out every single one of those non-college players and make them a Joe random. And that's, it is time consuming. And like I did mention, it is a, a big hiccup in the roster, but 
again for rosters like this where you do have to create the uniforms you do have to change the team details you also could also import the stadiums from the vault it is a lot of work to get this to happen right and it, it is tough like there is a lot of work the your the jer the jerseys the jerseys the team names you got to figure out now who is actually on the roster the college roster compared to the mlb players and yeah it, it is a big issue it is a big issue so let me show you just the roster itself so you guys can actually see like who is actually on the mlb roster and what they did was they kind of lowered the overall, which I think is an okay idea, but you guys can see every single player here is part of, you know, the college team. Sky Duff, which I think is an awesome name, by the way, is on the University of Pittsburgh. The Rays, like I did mention, was East Carolina University. And so they, they do have every single player, like it is the correct name, the positions, all that stuff. Some of the ages are a little incorrect, I'm noticing. Um, I don't know if that was something that they chose to do on purpose. But also, you know, you can see every single player is here. And I forgot who Vanderbilt was. They're Pittsburgh. And I know that's kind of the main players you probably know of off, you know, right off the rip, which is Jack Leiter. For some reason, he has deep potential. And then also uh, Kamar Rocker, who also has deep potential. So... I'm not too sure what, what that is. And also, is Kamar from Virginia? I don't... Let me take a look. I got to do a little little research here. He's actually from Georgia. So, like I said, there, there are some massive hiccups with this roster. And it, it does suck. It does suck. That kind of does take away from it. it. It does. It really does. But the big thing here is I want you guys to know that it is possible to play NCAA like a version of NCAA on MLB The Show. And like I've also mentioned, there is a really good roster coming out. I just don't know when. And I wish I did. I wish it was out already. That would have been a really cool video to make, maybe a rebuild on it or implement it into your franchise where you could have like college showcases and be like, oh, well, maybe we try to draft this player. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it once it does come out. But like I said, it is a possibility where you can go and play it now. There is a roster out there that you guys could edit and, you know, make it better. And, you know, now you have the base. This is a cool thing to have where you can download a roster and edit it yourself. So if you guys do make a cooler and better NCAA roster, let me know. I'll definitely take a look at it for a video. But I did want to show you guys this. I did want to show you that it is possible to make an NCAA, you know, franchise that's the big thing here i know a lot of you guys have been asking about it it is a possibility now and that's really about it so there it is i know there is a lot of work that you have to do i know there are some hiccups with the roster but i hope you did enjoy it of course if you did thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and of course get in the comment section let me know what you think um like i said this isn't my roster so i didn't choose the teams i didn't choose anything like that but let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys do make any rosters and that's about it i'll catch you in the next one peace